Okay. So, forget the introduction. I'm just going to see how, how far we can get into this game before it crashes on me again. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. So, apparently a lot of these maps are locked off because I don't have the bloody DLC. Cool. Yeah, let's go with this. Victory conditions. Um. Yeah, let's just go with capital victory. Game settings. Uh, I know we like to go with a slow build speed, but I'll do normal. Just to make this more entertaining. Ship speed slow. Normal, normal, normal. I, I like to go for an immersive like setting or so for my games. And I'll set them off for random. I will play as more <laughs> The Terran Empire. Yes. Long live the Terran Empire in all its glory. And we'll set like some of these actually some of the experts, some to unfair. Uh we'll set you to like the Borg. You can be the Borg, and, and, and you can be, like, heavily aggressive and just stomp everyone else. Well, Alright, and let's do this. Before this game crashes on me, you have your large fleet, the enemy has their large fleet, you battle it off. Whoever wins the engagement normally wins the war, as there's really no time to rebuild forces. So this is, uh, about the casualties you take. Can't, the casualties are huge. Okay, so let's see. We are here. It's time to start spreading out the Terran. And also we have our heroes. We can open the support fleet. Venable fleet. We can open the Enterprise. The Enterprise E. The Defiant. And you can open Voyager. Don't know why you'd want to do that though. Bring up local star charts. Alright, let's see how far we can get before it crashes on me. So, um... Call this ship. Alright, now I need us. Quickly we learn how, how, to, how to play this bloody game. Um... Planetary system detected. Probably want to go with the... Yeah, do we have auto... Yeah, okay, we do. I normally don't care too much about like sp strategically placing structures, with the exceptions uh, being like um, primary battle stations for the most part. Hoping the sound isn't too loud, so you guys can hear me. Look at that! That is awesome. Planetary system detected. So get one of some of these here. And I believe our first one's free, so we'll get an ambassador class. The one thing I, I, I mean, I, I understand it because of the mechanics, but I would love it if, like, you didn't, you weren't limited by capital ships or so. Because, like, the capital ships are awesome, and I would prefer just to have a f giant fleet of them. Yeah, the Phoenix, the Nebula. I never heard of the Typh Typhon before. Oh, the Prometheus, though, from the, um, that one episode from, um, Voyager. The Sovereign, obviously, and the Galaxy. I think the only sad thing is that they don't have, uh, TOS ships, or so. But this is, like, kind of made to be, um, taking place around the Dominion War, so it, it makes sense. So I'm not going to get too butthurt about that. We've met no one. Apparently, those. Oh, God. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Those six boring players. Oh, oh, my. What? 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 Okay, let's. Let's take a while to gather myself.
Just so too random, what could happen? Famous last words. Okay, so in this game, the Borg are almost impossible to deal with. And the fact that there are... Well, there's, there's, there's so many of them. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, this is going to be a short playthrough. I can, t I can already tell. This is going to be a very, very short playthrough. No, I, I played against the Borg or so in like a previous build of this mod. It didn't end well. Bad stuff happened. Let's just say that. Let's see. Um... So we'll... We're going for, um, initially getting a civilian build. Though it's kind of... We we're trying to get myself oriented here. Just due to the fact that they, they've changed everything. It's like a, almost a total... It's basically a total conversion mod. But it, it, it just takes a while to get oriented and whatnot. This is going to be cool because, like, I, we can, like, make, like... Yeah, we can make space docks, or so, which is nice. And this is the interesting part, the combat. Apparently the Breen are holding this world. This is where the slow ship speed actually comes in handy. Look at this, this is awesome. A little chinky, but it is pretty cool. Oh, this just, just fills me with nostalgia. Oh, this is this is awesome. I, I can look at this all day. I don't think the ambassador has um af um photon torpedo launches. So those that the shields are down. <laughs> Surrender. And we will spare your crew. <laughs> Wait, will the Terran Empire... No, 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 just surrender so And save us the trouble of killing you, I guess. <laughs> well... Ah, oh, this is awesome. Okay, so where were we? A lot of... Why don't we... Um... Insufficient dilithium. Every single upgrade I get is so towards getting more what is it getting more resources or so is a good oh and also I love the trade system or so let's see oh. there we go yeah every um, upgrade I put into economics is going to pay off I, I know that much Yeah, I knew it was a good idea to put the ship speed on slow. Look at this. If it wasn't for the fact that they were running into one another, and I was about to lose a Sable class, you know. Which I don't really care about, unfortunately. This is the Terran Empire. Casualties are just... are just a necessity to expanding the Empire. Long live the Empire. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is, this is awesome. We're going down! Oh my goodness! Oh. We lost the Sable class. Oh, this is going to be sad when we fight against the boy. We're going to lose. I'm just going to say this straight up. We are going to lose this game. There is no way around this.
Do not play for easy lives. Play to be stronger men. I'm pretty sure I butchered up that quilt. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's see. Uh, you know, maybe we should probably save up for another ambassador class, as it seems to be the only competent ship we have. Sector wide. Really? Okay. In terms of what? No, no other information? We, we're just gonna boom. Cool. Yeah, sending that ship speed on slow was such a good idea. Look at the immersion here, so it actually looks like a little battle is going on. That is awesome. Fire phases. Take them down. <laughs> oh, I like that now the ambassador has like phaser banks over here on the side. No, apparently uh, part of the um, development crew for this um, this game were working on like an action or um, like version where it was going to have the TOS uh, ship versions from action or. So, which was going to be pretty cool, however they cancelled that unfortunately, which sucks. But, what can you do? Alright, so, that plant has been cleared out. We will now make a... We should probably have one already on standby. Oh, well. Huh. Well, the scouts are still alive. Well, at least one of them is. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be a short playthrough. I literally... <laughs> I know how much you guys love to see me get destroyed. In fact, probably... You guys will soon see the, um... What is it? Yeah, you guys should soon see what happened with my... Battlefleet Gothic Amada campaign playthrough. Let's just say... It didn't go according to plan, unfortunately. Enemy, enemy. That's that's why well, I'm just gonna leave that. What the devil is that abomination? It's like you took a marquee ship and you took the intrepid class or so and just like stuck them together. That's a pretty nice design, I have to say. I like how I'm using my Saber classes as cannon fodder. Yeah. Like, they're literally here just to make the battles go a little bit faster, but they're not meant to really do anything. That's a lot of phaser banks, though. I think we might be outclassed. Yeah, we might be outclassed. We might need some reinforcements. Pull back the fleet. Make a temporary withdrawal. Awaiting orders. Insufficient metal. Indeed. Well, I don't think that saber class made it. 
Did he make it? Wow, he made it. 11 whole points. He made it. Lucky him. <laughs> I guess today was not a good day to die. Station complete. Oh, look at that. Just the... It's just awesome. As, uh, as you, you guys probably have already... You guys can probably already tell that I'm, I'm a little bit of a Trekkie. So, there you go. I'm sorry. I'm a Trekkie. A little bit of a Trekkie. I've watched all the Star Trek episodes, every single one of them, from... Actually, no. No, I actually scratched that. I haven't seen all of the original series because it, it, it... While the original series is considered to be the best series or so, I found it just a little bit cheesy. There's some... Just a little bit. It's mostly just because of the fact that, um, what? It, it's... I, I would say it suffers from a 90s aesthetic, basically, it just, it's just weird sometimes. I guess we should get some more random classes, those would be nice. Though we'll be spam, spamming Excelsior classes soon. Definitely. Well, we won't have a choice. We go up against the Borg. Ah, oh, the Borg. I don't want to fight the Borg. Why didn't you guys stop me? <laughs> this is your fault. Now I have to deal with this entire Borg nonsense. So, all right. So let's send the full fleet over here. Actually, we can clear that out. That'll be nice. They seem to be less defended. Oh, great, we found the Cardassians. Oh, the Cardassians are interesting because you can either go with the, um... You can either go with the primary Cardassian fleet, or you can go with, um... Kind of a... Well, you go with the Dominion Alliance base, which gives you access to... Um, both the Cardassian forces, not the full set of Cardassian forces, you don't get like the higher level of battleships and whatnot, but you get access to the Dominion fleet as kind of like a compensation or so, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, so what else can we get? We're very low on resources, so I don't want to just start spending them casually. Should probably get some trade set up. Uh, do I want to get trade set up, or do I want to... Let's see, yeah. yeah, let's go trade. <laughs> My tan new glasses. Well... No, these things are, are massive, mind you. They're, like, pretty big. Like, I thought they were relatively small, but they are big, and they are massive ships. I mean, not as massive as, like, the obvious capital ships there, but they are still pretty big ships in, co in comparison to, like, just a normal person. I think they were first introduced in uh, Deep Space Nine, if I remember that correctly. Adjusting coordinates. Oh, they found it. They found our capital of Hebe. <laughs> what? The devil is a Hebe. <laughs> ah, lovely. So... Wait, how have I... Okay, so I only have one slot left, apparently. A lot of tactical slots. I don't really know what I would do. So, it seems that the... That's for the prototype. Paradox. Defense stations. Yeah, meh. 
The best defense is a good offense, in my opinion. Oh, they're already fighting. Lovely. How's that going? Those are. Uh... Actually, I have no idea what type of ships these are. I know I saw some of them in Stellaris or so on. I don't know. I mean, outside of like the Federation, well, I mean, and like the higher power ships, I, I don't really know the minor faction vessels. I know that this ship has no chance against a fleet. Uh, do we have the Moana yet? We do. Awesome. Let's get some of those out as soon as we can. Wait, really? So this is an escort frigate and this is just a normal frigate. This one, I, I, I mean it's a little cheaper. It doesn't use as much supply. It's not necessarily good replacements. Sure. More like me for the grinder, I guess, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. We really need to get another ambassador class out there. Gonna make another fleet. A little bit more dilithium. This is why I love the trade mechanic. It always allows for you to just get what you need. Oh, here we go, the minor class. Absolutely beautiful. Though it's a, it's a Ken Fodler ship in, the, in this mod. Fascinating enough. Uh, let's get back to the battle. <laughs> oh my. Oh, this is awesome. Some, and actually, the mod hasn't crashed on me yet. Which is nice. I'm surprised this battle has lasted this long. So how in the the devil are we going to break this this bunker here? They have apparently a lot of vessels. I guess that's a good summary. We await your command. Insignificant fleet capacity. Gotta get that scout class. I love it. Everyone and the mothers are trying to kill that scout class, and that scout is just like, oh, but I'm just a messenger. I'm just here you know, doing my job. No, that's like a very cliche thing that happens early game. Everyone just wants to kill the scout classes. Okay, so that one hasn't been explored. Let's uh move here, I guess. Literally, the Miranda is just a can fall with ship, yo. It's so funny. Because, like, it... I mean... I, I, I guess that would make sense. So, seeing how, like, the Dominion War takes place, like... I'm gonna say... Uh, like, a hundred... A hundred years or so. At the Miranda class was actually a thing or so. All the ship of the line, so... That does make sense, though... Honestly, it would be the last ship I would ever want to serve on or so in that Witcher spec. Just because of how it's literally akin to a death ship for the most part. You're just like, oh, here's Miranda ship. Well, congratulations, you've been promoted. Oh, wonderful. What, what, what ship am I going to be in command of? Oh, you're going to be in command of this Miranda class. What? 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 
oh, this wasn't a class video. And then, like, like it, it's, it's like a death barge for the most part, I would imagine. Um, shoot. So, resources. I want... Okay, there we go. That's one of the things that I like about sins, the fact that you can just like sell stuff off and buy stuff just to get get the resources that you need. You don't have to wait. Well we're gonna take on a a scout cube. Lovely. I don't know how our fleet's gonna handle that. Look at this wounded Sable class leading the way. No bro. Awaiting orders. Assimilate this, huh? <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Let's see how this battle's going. With all Miranda Cannon fought Lafleur. Don't recognize that vessel, unfortunately. I think that's like a freight. I'm pretty sure that's just like a freight or so that they, they had a DS9. What else? Did not recognize this one, but yeah. Looks like an interesting design. Actually, who's leading this formation here? Why are you leading this formation, Mr. Miranda Class? I love how glitchy the, um, the felt on top of as well. It's hilarious. I like how the ambassador class can't even catch up to the Miranda classes. It's just, like, wait for me, guys. Oh, we have the worst economy ever. <laughs> Wonderful. Um... Shit, what did I want to do again? That's right. I need to increase the logistics, and then I'm going to put a trading center here. K9 or T9 trading center. Awesome. Hopefully the engagement hill doesn't take that long. As the ship explodes. Well, I, I swear, who the devil promoted this Miranda class to, to Fleet Admiral or so? They need to be fired. It's the first volley of fun on top of you to stick down his shields and brought him down to half health. Yeah, that was actually interesting. You'd think that Phone Top Heroes would do more damage. Because, like, I... Don't quote me on this, but I believe they're, like, akin to, like, nuclear warheads or so, even... No, no, scratch that. Nuclear warheads have nothing on Phone Top Heroes because of the fact that they... They literally are, are, are just, like, giant... They're, they're really powerful, so... Despite the series making them look really insignificant as, like... Look at that, they just like tossed a couple out of ship and like it's still alive. Oh, we're actually about to lose one? I'm gonna lose Miranda class here. That's not good. Huh. Those are trading posts. And those are traders. Wait, is that the... That's the Liberty class and... That's the Liberty class as well. Lovely. Alright, so we got a trade with established, so we should be making some extra monies now. That's good. I'll... Okay, so we won that battle. Why don't we... Adjusting you fall back, and we have you cause this. I'll probably have to get some more uh, 
scouts out there. Hopefully the Borg will just kill themselves. So they'll just be too busy trying to kill themselves to kill us. That'll be awesome. Two more Nova classes out as scouts. We get some cruisers. We'll literally only be making Excelsior classes when the time comes, just because they are the most powerful. They're, they're like the best on terms of like average damage or so. So they're, they're like really worth just spamming for the most part. And I think they have the Excelsior refit as well. Just tell me where to go. Constellation class, well. Um, let's see how. Yeah, we could definitely use it finally as well. Though, what we're gonna put it is uh, another story entirely. Ah, uh, pretty nice. It's like, it's a pretty decent class vessel, so it just looks nice. When we install me, I actually found a um, user-made model of the Nova class, and it was massive, but it, it looked pretty good. It's a pretty nice looking ship. Let's see, so we, we should probably get some more classes out here. Annoy class would be nice to have. We need to get another Ares out, but I don't have any more logistics slots available to me. Awesome, we won. Look at that. So I guess we'll have your fleet go over here. Insufficient dilithium. Unacceptable. Let's see. Uh, so we need a hundred. Uh, sell some metal. There we go. Like, you always want to get the civic infrastructure up as high as possible so it can, like, start bringing you in money. Because, like, when you initially colonize a planet, as you can see down there, it's giving you a negative income. So, that's what I normally try to do, always. So, we haven't scouted out everything yet. So, I'm going to have to periodically make more scouts. Um, where is that? Cool down now, expired. Uh, okay, why don't we have you just st stop migrating that way? Let's see here, and I'm gonna get a training post set up as soon as possible. Uh, don't have the resources for it. Alright, so I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will definitely be making more of this or more of these uh, videos of Star Trek Armada 3 just because it is it is absolutely awesome, it is amazing and also because it puts so much work and effort into trying to get this mod to work so that too hope you guys enjoyed the video, as always take care, I will catch you guys next time